Today we're going to talk about the hydraulic drive calibration procedures on the BD7600 box drill. First thing we want to show you is the items you'll receive with every drill that you'll need to do perform the calibration. First thing is the one cubic foot collapsible bucket to weigh your seed, a digital fish scale, and a catch tray to catch the seed under the meters. Here we've got our screen up and running. We've already got our tractor hooked up to the machine and we have our hydraulics engaged and we're ready to start our calibration. From the run screen, first thing we want to do is we want to touch the gear. And we need to touch the gear with the lock to enter our configuration screen. First thing we want to do is put in our target rate, touch the configuration icon. We're using wheat and our target rate we want to shoot for 90 pounds a day so we touch the box, type in 90, hit the green check mark. Our target rate is now 90 pounds. Hit the go back icon, hit it again. Okay now we're ready to go into the calibration screen. Calibration button is the icon with the gear and the meter. That'll show us our target rate of 90 pounds that we just entered, the current calibration factor, and the target rate increment in your settings. To enter the calibration mode, we want to touch the icon with the meter and the hopper. That'll bring up our calibration run system. We want to make sure there's a check mark in the metering system. We want to put our speed that we plan to plant at in this box. We're going to plant at five and a half miles an hour. So we want to enter 5.5, touch the green check mark. The number of rows that we're catching for our test today will be five. We want to enter the number of rows that we're catching. So now we've set our meter to catch five rows. We need, now need to select our, the meters we're going to calibrate. For this test, we're going to calibrate just the center box. From the calibration selection screen, we can select one meter, two meters, or all three meters individually. We can clear them all together. We can select them all together and deselect them individually. Again, for today, we're going to calibrate the number two meter, so we want to put a check mark in the number two meter, hit the back button. We're now ready to enter our calibration mode. Touch the right arrow, follow the instru instructions on the screen. You want to use the calibration switch to start and stop the meter for calibration. At this point, we're ready to raise our walk board. Want to install our catch bag. We want to make sure our gates are set in the proper position. Our upper slide gate should be in position B, which is in the middle, and they are already set. We're now ready to run our meters. To start and stop our meters, the switch located under the center walk board. To start it, push in on the button, pull out on the switch, and we're now catching seed. Once we've caught an appropriate amount of seed, we're ready to shut our meter off. Simply push in the yellow button and the meters will stop. We're now ready to weigh our seed. We're take our seed, pour it into our catch bucket. If you want to hang your bucket on the scale, turn the scale on and it'll automatically zero for the weight of the bu empty bucket.
For this test, we caught 4.8 pounds. Now that we've stopped our meter and weighed our seed, we want to touch the right arrow button. We're going to put in the amount of seed that we caught, which was 4.8 pounds. We want to touch the right arrow. We come up with a calibration of 4.483 pounds per revolution. To accept this calibration, touch the check mark. If you wish to do it again, at this point you can touch the X. We're going to accept the amount that we put in. We now have a new calibration factor of 0.88 pounds per revolution. Now that we've gone through the general calibration of the hydraulic drive, I'd like to introduce you to the split box hydraulic drive calibration. There's a lot of similarities, but there are a few differences that we need to point out. The first difference you'll see is on our monitor, we now have six hoppers. On the two section machines, you'll only see four. So going into the calibration procedure, we touch the gear and select our meter just like we did before, but now we have two meters to select and we can set a target for each one. Again, same button, we touch the meter button to enter the calibration uh, screen. So now we have two metering systems instead of one. We have to, we can select one or both. We, all, we want to put in our speed of six miles per hour. And we also want to catch five rows. We now need to select our motors just like before, but now again, we have two sets of meters to select. Same as previously, we can select all we can deselect all or we can select individual motors. And we're now selected on the meter one. We now want to select the motors for meter two. We want to put a check mark there, hit the return button. We're now ready to enter the calibration, calibration procedure. Touch the play button, start your meter. You'll see now we have two meters displaying, showing revolutions and approximate pounds per revolution that we should be catching. Once we've cycled our yellow switch on the back of the machine, we'll get a, the same play button and everything else after that is the same as if we were doing a single product. Here you see we're counting up our revolutions and uh, amount of seed that we've caught. Once we've stopped our switch, our play button has appeared. We touch our play button we can individually select the amount of weight that we put in for meter one, same as the previous. We enter the amount of weight that we caught for meter two. Enter the same the amount that we caught, and we're now we've now entered our new calibration. We have new new calibration factors for each motor. Touch the check mark to accept it, or the X to reject it. We're going to accept it. And we now, ha now have new calibration factors, and we are ready to plant. Always remember to calibrate your boxes individually and enter that information into the monitor as well.